she would spend, you know, years bonding and connecting with these various cows. But then she would be trained to lead these cows onto slaughter trucks. So they would be led onto these trucks to be sent off to slaughter while she stood back and watched. And I remember when Maybelle first came, she, she did really well. Again, sweetest girl, kindest cow you'll ever meet, licked everybody. But then, you know, once we got her acclimated and gave her her space, you would hear her cry for hours and hours. And then she would lay down to rest. She'd get back up and cry again. We know that, you know, she spent so many years having loved ones torn apart from her. About eight, eight and a half years ago, this lady, the former owner of Maybelle, had purchased Maybelle with the intent of using her for dairy. After several attempts that weren't successful, they kind of deemed Maybelle as being barren. They started to see these like little personality traits in her that just made her a little bit different than other cattle they had raised. But she was really social and really friendly. They decided that they were gonna go ahead and just keep her they still found a way to use her. And so they used her as a bell cow. A bell cow is generally like your leader cow. Over the years, they would have Maybell intentionally bond with like cows that were becoming mothers, their babies, and then male cows that were being, you know, raised for slaughter as well. Cows are extremely social and they are very maternal and they value those bonds and those relationships. Maybelle, who had just this incredible ability to connect with everybody, was really successful in being able to kind of like steer the herd, right? Lead them to wherever they needed to go. And this is all under the guidance of that former owner. For me, though she was not physically, uh, you know, like taken advantage of, the emotional impact of being a bell cow when cows are separated, regardless of the relationship, they will literally cry and moo and just stand at the gate line. A lot of times for days, if not weeks, if not months, they'll continue to wait for that trailer to come back, right? Or that truck. Every day, every single person, staff member, volunteer, we would go sit out there with her and just hold her and pet her and try to give her as many treats to make her feel better. She she really started to kind of come around and she really started to flourish. She completed her quarantine. All of her tests came back where there were no concerns, any health concerns. Did the integration and really that day, it was so exciting. We opened up the gates of quarantine and tried to get her to come over right on her own. And she was just so excited. She'd been waiting, what, 30 days, like exploring everything around her outside of those, you know, of the fences and the gates, just like, I need to eat this. I need to meet this one. And she literally will lick everyone. It doesn't matter who you are, your age, your background, she is ready to lick, to jump, to give kisses, everything. Anyone who comes here, they just walk away feeling different after meeting a cow that's so social, especially knowing her emotional history and that trauma that she experienced year after year. But Maybelle's a, just a joy and she's thriving um, and doing really well.